Bienvenue to Le Café Craft. I am back. Here we go. All right, so I'm back. I got a million gazillion things to tell you, but I'm not going to do that right now because it is a crafting channel, so we get to craft something. What are we crafting? And then I'm going to blah, 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 right? We're crafting those things. Villa like, oh, envelope. Oh, we did tag, now we do envelope. How about that? How about that? Envelope, all shapes and forms. Envelope. It goes like this. You're not going to believe that. When I get into it, you're not going to believe that. Okay. So this has got a letter from, I don't know, 1955. Okay. So we're good with this. You got a little, you know, ribbon thing. You got this one. It's got little tags, right? Because, you know, we need tags. Let me keep on going and then I explain to you, this is the coolest, easiest thing ever. I got this one, I would have a, you know, a hanging folder, you know, those green hanging folders. I got to put the cards in it. I got a little piece of, I don't know, little piece of fabric which was hanging out. I got this one. Get a nice deal. Ooh, this is so cool, right? Nice deal journaling card in there. All right, and it goes like this. Cool, right? And I got this one here. And I put, uh, you know, this October theme. So I put little mushrooms and little moth and little, I don't know, flowers, more moth. Anyway, some insects and plants and more moth. All right, right? Okay. Now, you know how we say, well, you know, we need inspiration. Where are we going to do it? How are we going to do it? Where are we going to find it? Go in your pantry. This is the best inspiration ever. First, you can eat something, you know, like the Ritz box cracker for the uh, traveler book in the box, right? So, cereal box. We use cereal box all the time. Right? We just cut them, use them, this and that. Now, I got one right here. Several box, right? What is very interesting with several box is this. This right here. Because it always amazed me. How do you open it? How you close it like this, right? So I thought, oh, why not? I mean, that's the only part we don't use. Pretty much we use the rest of the box. Let me put this box away. So, oh, well, wait, before I put it away. So you go in your pantry. This is step first, uh, step one, right? Go in your pantry, grab the cereal box. We don't care if it's open or not open. You just take it. You take those two flaps, right? And then you cut them off, both of them. Yes? Yes. All right. And now they figure out how to close a cereal box. You don't care. You're crafting. This is more important than anything else. So you have this. Those two things, right? So now you don't have to keep the whole length, okay? You cut them like reasonable, okay? And then you turn them over. And the first thing you do is you find the middle of it. This is a pretty cool project because you really don't have to measure kind of like nothing, right? And we love that. Okay, so we f you figure out your middle and you put a line right there, okay? Now, if you could paint them fluorescent, do it because I spend my time looking for those things. Anyway, so you put them together with your little clippy, yes? Yes. And now, okay, I'm going to do two of them, a small one, a bigger one, and then I'm going to blah, 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 right? So you take, you know, the when you get cardstock, you always have those strips, right? Things, thingies. Okay. So you take that. So I'm pretty sure that's about 12. I mean, I'm going to give measurement, but like, you know, just in case. Yes, it's 12. Okay, cool. All right. But we don't really care about that. Okay. How, okay. I mean, you care because maybe you want to do it. How, five inches. Okay, cool. So we know already the middle is two and a half, right? Okay. So now we want to do an envelope. Okay. How do we go about this? All right. You get to realize that this envelope, this very specific envelope we're doing is going to close pretty much like this, right? It's going to be edge to edge. So don't start with a big flip or whatever. You cannot do that because it's going to close edge to edge. So you get to figure out where your edge is going to be. Duh. So let's say you take your bottom part and you said, oh, I want my envelope about that, right? But you're going to edge to edge, okay? Which means whichever, this is the way you're going to measure it. Whichever you want your envelope to be, right? You just go, you said, oh, I want my envelope to be kind of like this, right? Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a little mark right here. About, I mean, anywhere. 
and then you put it here and then you see if you get an even measurement because you know even is better all the time all right so we got one two three four five six seven eight where's the mark nine the mark is here all right so we're gonna say nine we cut. All right, I'm gonna take the machine. I'm gonna start this, and then as we go, and then I'm gonna talk about all kind of stuff while I'm doing things, which chances are I'm gonna mess it all up, but that's okay. We cool. So first, guys, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I got so many good wishes and so many little notes and comments and hoping you're feeling well. Oh my gosh, I was feeling so well. I mean, that was the stupidest part about it. I was the only one feeling good. I had to move. You know, it's the law of numbers. If everybody is sick and you not you the one I just take off I mean for goodness sake I just had time to just grab like two things two brush some ephemera and go that was just crazy but anyway we made it everybody's over it everybody's fine I'm fine I was always fine what have you but now we all 14 days behind videos are not done we get to catch up with all kind of stuff this is crazy but anyway again thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you because I had nothing else to do than sorting out ephemera and uh, you know reading your comments all right so our envelope is gonna fold. okay you're not gonna fold all of it right so it's gonna close like this kind of like that right it's gonna be the little bit over so like this so wherever you think this is a okay let me do that again you go like now nah, like a half inch over right and you say okay this is where it's gonna close okay you are gonna fold the bottom part don't do anything on the top bottom part yes we you're gonna need something like this you know okay first step Second step, it's a small envelope. I'm gonna take that thing here, I'm sorry. If you get a ruler, take a ruler. And you're gonna go do like three quarter inch, right? One, two, three. Three quarter inch, bam. Go on the other side, three quarter inch. One, two, three. Okay, straight, Patricia. One, two, three. Does that look straight? This one doesn't even look straight, is it? Yeah, I guess it is, okay, who knows? All right. Is there anything I need that for? I don't know. We we'll see when it goes. Okay, so you have this, right? So now what you do, take your scissors, scissors, and you nicely cut the folded part, right? It's folded like this. A tiny little angle to your fold, right? One, two. All right, we we'll take that out. Now you have this. So there is one thing which happened when you do those. It's extremely confusing where your top is and where the bottom is. So what you're gonna do right now is cut this right here, okay? Like so, cutting. Okay, don't pull, okay? You know that story, right? Don't, Patricia, just don't. Here we go. Now I got that little thing here. Hold on, oh, here, now. You do the same thing here. You cut this part. And then I'm gonna do another one with, uh, this is cardstock. You can do them with paper and I, next one I do with paper, okay? So that this is, this is what you have, right? Yes. Now you're gonna have to find the middle of this. So the middle of this is gonna be about here, right here, yes? And then the middle of this, the other side, is gonna be right here. Get that? That was easy, right? Okay, you take those things. You take the bottom one, which is the one which is like this. Just get the dent in. Yes, yes. Take your bottom part. You put the middle on the middle, yes? What you do is you line this here with the top of your cardstock like so middle middle you line up on both sides you trace I'm telling you it's like kindergarten craft we tracing yes yes now you take this part you get the middle here you get your middle here this is the widest part this is why I said cut the bottom right away then you know the you know the skinny one is the bottom you go like this same thing, you line up your two guys here on the top, right? You know, the edge to edge. You make sure you're in the middle and then you do kindergarten again, you trace. Oh, Patricia, that was hard, I know, it is hard. Bam, and now you're gonna cut this and cut that, right? 
Right. So, I got other things to say. What else I got to say? Oh, number one. Oh, okay. As you know, I have patrons. And oh my God, this is my... Those are my favorite people on earth, okay? Hi, gang. All right. And then I asked them to vote what is going to be the next project. And they voted. And it's going to be a traveler notebook. Other known as... See, I'm doing exactly what I said not to do. Other known as TN, right? Traveler notebook. TN. I think I'm going to do a TLN, Traveler Lap Notebook. How about that? All right. So that's what I'm working on. I'm doing the prototype and, you know, so far so good. And as soon as that's done, I'm going to do a flip through. So then you're going to know where you guys are going. And then if you want to do it, we can do it. Right? Right. Okay. See, I shouldn't do that at all. So when you do things like that, which you shouldn't do because, you know, you're smarter than that, just, you know, it fits a little bit rough, just, you know, file it, right? Okay, now we're cutting this. Also, other news we have, oh, and also I'm talking about, you know, gangs. You're talking to me? Thank you also to the Facebook group. My gosh, you guys are awesome. Okay, so if you want to join, you can join the group. I mean, it's pretty cool. Everybody is like posting their stuff, what they're doing, what they're not doing, whatever, right? Where they're going, you know, cool stuff. So you can do that. Now, this is what, what, one of the big thing which happened was because I got detective, you know, I got my secret detective people. So thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Nettie or Netta from Denmark. Do you know that crazy video about the tag dispenser? Wow, it had been featured in Victoria Design Newsletter. How cool is this? Oh my God, it's like success, success. So I was pretty happy about that. And my back is doing so good. I was able to dance, you know, all of that. So that was cool. I was so excited about that. There was, okay, hold on, because this that thing is going to really annoy me. So that was one cool thing, I think. So I got a whole bunch of new subscribers. So welcome to you. Hope you enjoy the show. And also, you know, I should have made it maybe, you see, when you do it, maybe I should have done it like half inch. Yeah, you know what? That's what it is. That's what it is. All right. Now, let's go back to what we are doing and then I'm gonna keep rambling, okay? You are gonna take this, you know, the top part, and then you're gonna insert it in here, right? Uh, not hard, is it? You insert it really well, okay? I hope you can see, right? You insert it really good. Yes, it's inserted. Are you all good? Okay, now you fold bam how cool is this we didn't measure no i mean you can measure everything there is on here and try to figure it out but you know what <laughs> who's got time for that i don't obviously i got so much stuff to catch up with okay so now we got that you fold this you fold that i'm gonna make another one all right so if you didn't get it i mean you don't have to rewind the thing 20 times i'm gonna make another one and then you can do it. Okay, so now you take the top part, right? Which is the one who's still bigger than the bottom part. And you are gonna cut just the same way that we cut the other one and then we just gonna adjust stuff, right? So we cut kind of at an angle, like so, right? And then now you're gonna cut this right here. Cutting. Uh, Cutting. Oh, I got to tell you about my quarantine. It, just, it was just like the stupidest thing on earth. Anyway, when I'm going to do the other ever, I'm going to talk about it because otherwise you're never going to know what I'm doing here. All right, so you cut both sides here like so. You know, I wish those things would cooperate a little bit. You know, when you get that dangling thing, it's like a hair. Where is that hair? No, it's just, you know what, I'm just gonna have to pull it. Okay, so now we have this, we have this, and we have the top. So obviously you don't want to keep all that. I mean, if you want to, you can, but you know, it will be silly, right? 
So we are gonna cut. So we get to cut here up to here. Okay, why don't we trace this? See, they're a little bit too wide. That's okay. We can always correct, right? And then maybe you wanna go all the way to here, wherever you wanna go. I don't know. Let's see. From here, from here, right? Do you wanna go maybe? Uh, okay, like a half inch. Yeah. Okay, right here. So you're gonna cut from here to here. Yes, like that. Now we see what it's gonna look like. What did I say? Half inch, half inch right here. That looks about the same, right? Okay, cutting this. But you know what? The truth of the matter is we should have not put three quarter inch. We should have put a half inch. Anyway, you know, don't use, don't use your nice card stock right away, all right? Do yourself a favor. Use paper, get it right, and then you use card stock because just in case bad thing happen, right? I'm gonna make another one and we're just gonna do it way better. But those are kind of like little details, but you know, then again, right? We just do everything right except the real details and it just all go down too. Okay. And then you see where, oh, look at that. It looks so cool. Cool. And this is gonna go like this. How oh cool. All right, so when you get it good, you take your bone folder, right? And then you get it exactly right. You see if something is popping a little bit out, you correct it. Okay, you take your edging thing. Now do the edging thing while, you know, everything is, okay, Ooh, oops. Take this out. I mean, it doesn't really matter, actually. All right, edging. Edging very briefly. So just to tell you how crazy and weird the whole thing was, I ended up in a hotel, honest to God, like 15 minutes away from, from home, okay? But you know, but you know how it goes, you go 15 minutes away and it's, it's another neighborhood and you don't know where the store is and you don't know where to go. I mean, I'm, I was just like so thrown off, I almost bought a map. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing. I mean, I, I had no clue. I was surprised people were speaking English, honestly. I, I thought like I was in a foreign land somewhere. It was just that crazy. I almost was like, oh, I'm gonna go to the museum. Anyway, whatever, right? I mean, it took me a few days to realize like, oh, hello, you know, you're still in the same place, except you're somewhere else. Anyway, that was that crazy. It really was that disconcerting to me. Okay, where's my top? This is my top, this is my bottom, all right? And now what we're gonna do is we are gonna glue, glue. I mean, how hard is this? Oh no, you don't wanna do that. You wanna do that. Here we go. I mean, you can make them all any kind of shape that you want. All right, so this is gonna go here. I'm gonna glue this spot here, right? This, this. Like so, going down, going down, bam. Then we're gonna put a, I don't know, do we have clippies, clippies, clippies. Yeah, clip here, clip here. All right, now we wanna do something with the top because as you can tell, you know, you need a little bit of help to open it and close it. I mean, you can glue them in your journal if you want to. You realize that or you just keep them like that or you just use them to give stuff to people i don't know what you do but if you want to do that you can right and then you can take okay see for example that specific card stock it's printed on both sides so you can do the little pull out you can put it with the the inside of uh, like i did with this one see i use the the color of the inside i put it on the outside you know you do whatever you want it's, like, it's a personal thing right so we want this so we are you already know that with okay is this kind of dry because who's got time for that all right so we're gonna put this like this right that's cool okay Oh, hold on, because this pencil mark here. All right. And I thought I put it like this. You know, you see how much you want popping out about like this. For some reason, I like it cut in an angle. You can round it too. See, this one is round, but this one is fabric. This one is round. This one is the old seam ribbon thing. See, this one is an angle. I kind of like the angle thing. I like your angle. Oh, I like the angle you have on that thing. Okay, cool, right? Yes, 
Oh yes, okay. So edging all right and then we are gluing so first you glue this part right there that one actually don't erase your middle because you know what you know the the pencil mark for the middle because you're gonna cover it anyway and that kind of help you to see oh yeah just in case you forgot what the middle is like yeah, i do that all the time because at least you got a good idea where the middle is okay take a clippy you're done how cool Right? I mean, I just love those things. All right, I'm gonna do it on paper. This is gonna be fun. All right, what else I wanted to say? Oh, yeah, uh, customer service, gone, gone. Nope, doesn't exist anymore. It's gone, it's all this ancient history. This is mind boggling to me. But anyway, honest to God, guys, I don't know what, what? I don't know what the time we're living in. It is just crazy. I'm going to give you an example. I'm in a hotel, right? I mean, a hotel is cool, right? I mean, you think customer service is going to be... I mean, if there is somewhere that you should have customer service, it's totally a hotel. Anyway, so I go there and... All right, this is what happened. There is like a... You know when, okay, you got travel a lot, right? You know, like you get the um, snack machine, drink machine, you know, somewhere in the hallway. Okay, so I do that, right? Get out of my room, go to the snack machine, and I come back, and the card doesn't work. You know, the key card thing? No, right, that's it. You cannot go. This is it. It's just you out of your room. So what the heck, right? Okay, so... I have to go to the front desk, right? Go to the front desk. Now, if you go to the front desk, okay, hold on, hold on a second here. I don't want a gigantic thing. This is too big. I want it, I want it like about four inches, right? So four inches, it's got about here. Okay, you can do it like this, right? If you know about what you want your envelope to be. One, two, three, four, okay? And then it's gonna, you understand this is gonna go down and the top is, and it's a whole thing. Anyway, so you need like a half inch more, right? And that would be right here, okay. So anyway, I go to the front desk and so I get in. I mean, I was just like a peer, right? from the stairs, because I was not a high floor, so I just take the stairs. And the first thing this lady said is like, you gotta have to wait. I'm thinking, oh my God. Okay, well, first of all, thank God I'm not in my underwear because I was, and the snack machine was like right kind of next door to me. Uh, so I wait, right? And then what is the next thing people should say? They said this. What do you need? What happened to may I help you? Right? What happened to that? I don't know. It just doesn't happen anymore. Mm -mm, not doing it. Okay. I'm thinking like, you know what? Anyway, story for another day. Um, so how long do we want it? This is what I'm saying. You don't have to measure nothing. You're just like, Ooh, I like this way, that way. Okay, about here, about here, but we're gonna put a half inch plus a half inch, right? Because we wanna do a half inch. So it's gonna be about here. I make that little mark here, right? This is why I love those things. You don't have to measure like yeah, about here, about there, about everywhere. Okay. Okay, now, go away. We need a half inch on both sides. Okay, I didn't decorate any of those because I figure I piled them up, right? And then when I'm doing something, it's like, oh, I need an envelope. I mean, they're all here, all shape, all form, all kind of background, background envelope. Are we doing that? And then, you know, if it's like if I'm doing a journal about butterflies, I'm just gonna like paste butterflies all over the place. Okay, what I need? I need a half inch. Where's my thing? Right here. So anyway, that was customer service. On the other end, let me tell you something. I am from France from a long time ago. And I'm gonna tell you something. There is no half inch, right? Half inch on both sides. There is no such thing. I mean, in France, you tell them customer service, they look at you like, 
speaking a foreign language. Like, what are you talking about? Doesn't exist over there. Nope, 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 never happened. Honest to God, you go in a store over there and you say, first of all, I mean, they would be on top of your head right away because you cannot touch anything. It's just like, God forbid. You know, let's say you go in a little boutique because you saw dresses or something, right? They will be right there because God forbid you start touching things so they already they're kind of upset, right? Okay, so that. And then, you know, you look at the dresses and they ask you like, okay, do you want to try on something? It's like, no, oh, no, I'm just looking. So already they hate you because you're just looking. And then you say something, I mean, something silly, like, well, I like that dress, but I don't like, I don't know, the color, the sleeve, whatever, right? I mean, they will tell you, well, if you don't like it, go shop somewhere else. Honest to God, they will tell you that. They're not afraid, you know, they don't care. It's like, you don't like something, go away. See, how cool is that, right? Anyway, just saying. All right, so is it gonna be... I'm looking if it's gonna be a good format. Yeah, I think so, right? Yes, okay. So you do your half inch right here, right? And then you figure out, because this is gonna come all the way down here now, right? Yes, so you figure out here. And then you fold your bottom part. And I know it's silly with the bottom part and the top part, but believe me, I mean, on a, you don't know how many are kind of, you know. All right, you get your fold right here, okay? You do a tiny little angle thing. Bam, bam. Good, good. You cut this off right here. I mean, there's no measurement you can do any shape you want. You just figure out what you want to put in it and which dimension it should be for you. Because as easy as they are, if you start measuring, oh my gosh, your life is gonna be miserable. Okay, so I got this here and this is gonna be coming down here, right? But I'm not folding it. So now I am at the stage where I should put, where's the other one? See, this is what I'm saying. Don't think, so you get a make sure. I mean, all the cereal boxes kept like five of those because I never find them. Okay, and I'm gonna do that. But see now, this is the thing. This is paper, right? Does paper, is paper gonna make it? I don't know. So I would say take another strip, whatever strippy things you have. Hey, red, that's pretty cool, right? Okay, so take a strippy of another, uh, an another one of those strips that you have everywhere, right? Cut that upside down. Cut that strip. Cutting the strip. So we're cutting the strip right here. This is, I don't know. Machines are supposed to be straight, are they? You know, sometimes I want All right, and then we're gonna cut this in half. So what is this? What are this? Okay, that's, oh my God, it's one and a half. So one and a half is gonna be three quarter. Bam, oh my gosh, you see that? My head is back. I was able to figure that it one out just like that. The, well, actually I figure out wrong because why doesn't it, doesn't look to me like it's in the middle, is it? Yes, it is. This is so risky when you do things like that. Okay, press. Whew. Okay. Anyhow, so that thing happened. I don't even know what else. All kind of stuff happened. So I strongly suggest if you do it with paper, okay, to glue, like, you know, reinforce, right? So I would totally glue a strip, you know? Why not? And actually, I think this is gonna look cool to have a border. I'm telling you guys, we improvise all the time. Okay, this is gonna be, hold on, because we're gonna cut this, right? So it's gonna be the same thing than that. So, bam, done thinking, done thinking. All right, I'm gonna glue this here. So that would be one done. I'm gonna shade, shade. Do you notice I'm in a rush? I'm in a rush because I wanna finish my, uh, my uh, TLN, right? And so this way I can do a flip through. This way you can look at it. Oh, this, and this is a really cool one. It's got a really cool theme, ha, ha, ha. Anyway, you see, you see. And then we gotta do one ourselves. Now, I wanted to use like folders and stuff like that. I'm, okay, my understanding is there is, I mean, I'm international. I'm all over the world. I have people from every single country you can think about, okay? 
So this is this is what's happening. I mean, you're a Patricia, right? Anyway, so there's some places there's no folders or them or whatever, right? So I made a point not to have anything more than 12 inches. Okay, so you can use Scott stock and you know whatever. If there's no folders, because I know when you know when you get something 14 inches, all you get is 12 inches. What the heck are you supposed to do? So I figure, you know what? Let's make everybody happy. Okay, I'm gluing this thing right here see that's how i know it's the bottom because it's narrower I'm telling you cut the side on your bottom that will save you so much grief i mean those are cool envelope you know i mean you give that to somebody they, they're gonna tell you whoa this is cool how did you come up with that you know so you just you know just be humble just just say because i'm that good you know <laughs> right Yes, we are that good. Okay, I'm done saying stupid stuff. Here, here, like this, right? Okay, and this is the side folding. Yes, you, can, you see what I'm saying? Because this one, you're not going to glue it here. So you're going to glue it where? There. Oh, yeah, just like this, right? All right, here we go. Gluing to, putting cover on that. Anyway, so, again... I'm not gonna say it enough. Thank you guys, because, oh my God, I was so distraught. I think that's the right word. With that whole situation, I just, I almost had a nervous breakdown. I'm thinking, what happened? What do I have to pack and go? What, what, uh, I mean, you get the irony of it, right? It's like, you get to go, you get to go in quarantine because you're healthy. Because it's, like, it's not supposed to be like that. Well, it was, it was. Okay, I'm gonna slide you a little bit over here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you did that right, it should be like this. Yes? Yes. Okay. Now, we take those two things. This is your bottom part. This is the narrow one. Yes? Yes. Oh, I got to figure out the middle. Hold on now. Okay, we're gonna, I mean, like, we gotta eyeball that whole thing just like that. Looks like middle to me. Bam! Right there. Do the same thing for the other one. Where is your middle? Okay, the middle, with, you know, without the fold, right? Yes, yes. So, go from the fold and figure out the middle. Or, even better, if you want to make sure... Hold on, how will that go? How about that? Look at that. One less measurement. Ha! Cool, cool. All right, so I got the middle, I got the middle. Now, this is, I want the bottom. Bottom. So you take the, okay, now this become the outside, right? So you go on the inside. You take this, and here you go again. You line up the top here and the top here. You line up your middle, yes, and then you trace, just like that, right? Put this away. You take this one, that's the top one. Flip it. You have your middle right here. Yes, yes. I'm just like checking and <laughs> I'm doing something stupid. And anyway, yeah, like it never happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you line up those little ears here, right? Yes, it's all lined up. And then you do that thing here. Because, you know, I tried to make them and try to measure exactly where that thing had to be and to punch it oh my gosh it's just i mean if you want to try you know if you get like the whole day in front of you and you put to death try it but not, not me i mean maybe there's an easier way to go about it and if there is please put it in the comments because i'm pretty sure that will help a lot of people definitely will help me anyway okay and then you cut okay when you cut you as I'm pretty sure you know that, right? Never turn your scissors, always turn your paper. Just, you know what, the day I learned that, I was like, whoa, that is smart. I mean, it's so much smoother. It does work. And I was actually reading the other day, like a Victorian book about decoupage and fussy cut and all of that. And even back then they say, nah, uh, never turn your scissors, always turn your paper. So we didn't invent anything again. I mean, look at that. You go in your pantry, you get like inspiration, glory. <laughs> and then you eat cool stuff. I mean, you know, sometimes you get to use a box, you get to empty it. I say. It's like, all right, guys, everybody's eating several. I was like, right now, this second, we are finishing that box today. <laughs> Okay, I know you're not supposed to pull. I'm just gonna pull that thing. This is getting me annoyed. Okay, where are we? Whoa, look at that. 
this is my bottom here. Look at my top, the, the, the edge. Okay, let's not sing victory here because as we know, as uh, soon as we start, you know, doing tap dancing, well, reality comes right back. Smack us in the face. All right, all right. We good, we good. Now, is this time to fold? I think it is. All right, take your bottom, bam. Take your top right there, put the top. You know, it takes a little bit of, you know, finicky, right? But put the top, insert, yes. Put it back on your table. Hopefully stay inserted, all right? Or not. Come on, be good. All right, you insert. You can see it because I, I kind of shaded it, right? You insert like all the way in. Make sure you line up on your sides right there, right? You good? You good? Press. Bam. Yes, success. See, that's what I'm telling you. Those things are cool. Okay, take this off. Now, again, we're going to do this thing here. Little angle, little angle. Okay, and then we're going to see what we want to do with this, with those flappy thing here. Flappy thing. All right, so what do we want? Okay, let's cut this. You cut that thing here, right? All the way to the top, preferably straight. This is where I just usually go like wiggling, but anyway, try to do it straight. Yes, yes, okay. And now we look at it, because we get to look. When we do cool stuff, we also get to look at it. What do we want to do? Do we want to keep this or not, or less, or where? I say, I'm gonna have it going like one inch. Yeah, one inch is pretty cool, right? Okay, one inch. I put a mark here, a mark here. I put a little mark where it joins here. Yes, yes. And now I'm gonna cut from here to there and here. Yes. So first, cut down to your first mark right here, right? And then your second mark go right to your first mark. Why do I do that? I keep saying don't do that. Anyway, okay. First mark. There's so many marks here. Okay, right here. To the fold. I'm not doing the right thing at all. See? I'm telling you, when you start talking, this is when you start to do. I'm cutting this from here and I'm going to here. See, you see, I kind of like messed up this one. That's okay because we're gonna glue it. But anyway, just, okay, don't do like I do. Don't start talking about all kind of stuff while you're doing stuff because you know what? That's it. Looks cool, cool. What about we round it? Rounding. I'm gonna take the small one, right? Like a, you know, just to make it like not pointy, not pointy. Not pointy. Anyway, this is not, see, this is this way. Here, bam, bam, right, right. Does it go in? Yes, yes. Okay, gluing, gluing. We glue this, right? Don't glue that because obviously there's gonna be nothing here. So you glue this. And then you can see you get about, you know, not about, you get, you should have a half inch because that's what we said, but anyway, right? So you do this, you do that. Here we go. Folding, folding, bam, ta ta da right? And then this is going to go like this, but we want to put a little thing here. Now, ha, huh, why don't we use this? What about green? Green is cool, right? Because I got a piece of folder here. It doesn't know what to do with itself. Okay. I like that. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I like the angle thing, so I'm going to keep with my angle thing. You don't have to angle it if you don't want to. Oh, I got to put here my glue. Okay. Here. Edge. I just love those things. You can make them all day. Honest to God. You can, I mean, this is just like, why not? Why not? Oh, there's another cool thing I wanna I wanna show you. Okay, hold on. Let me finish this. I'm gonna put a clippy and then I'm gonna show you something else. Because you know, as you know, I had all kind of time in the world. Come on, I wanna fold it good here. Ah, just a second. This is what I had time. Oh gosh. You know what? I think we, we do a lot more when we stress than when we uh 
because I could, I could just, I just, you know, I was like, no, I want to stay. I promise I will sleep under my crafting table. I won't care. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. You got to go. You got to go. Oh, my gosh. I was ready to camp right here with my old glue. I mean, I, did, I had scissors, but they were not the right. See, you know how that goes, right? You think, see, okay, so you know you have your middle here. Good, because now you know where your middle is to put that. So don't erase it, actually. Okay, then you take, that looks so, so cool. I'm going to put a clippy on that, and then I'm going to show you something else. Okay, tag. I know, and more tags, right? You know how we, um, I mean, you do, right? You keep all the, actually, I had a subscriber telling me about that. You know, you keep all the tags from, like, every every time you buy something, you keep the tags, because that's what we do. We keep every silly stuff there is, right? So I got all those tags, right? And because I didn't know what to do, and then I didn't have my cutting machine. I mean, anyway, it's a long story, right? So I did this, because I had all my s scraps and boxes of it. I made vintage tags. I just wanted to, well, this dry, I'm gonna show you that, right? Oh, how cool! I got to finish the back of it. You know, it's a girl thing, size seven, eight, but how cool! Because they do have those cool shapes that, you know, you wouldn't even come up with, right? So this one, oh, this one is just round, cool. This one, this one up and up, I put little music thing, this, the, I did okay. Look, this one says a new day, bam, I keep it, right? stuff. I love that one. Right? Yes. So, okay, can I tell you why I love those things? Number one, they get the weirdest shape that you wouldn't even come up with. Number two, they are straight, right? I mean, there's no cutting involved. It's ready here to go. Number three, there's a hole and it's already in the middle. I mean, <laughs> you know what makes my life like, wow, fantastic. See, this card said vintage, so I kept vintage. See that? How cool, right? Okay, and then most of them come with the old string anyway. So you know what? Keep the little string. Okay, but to make a long story short, I was doing that. And then I thought, you know what? Christmas is coming. I took, when I came back, I took Christmas paper from last year, the year before the year, because we keep everything. And I figured like, oh, I'm gonna do my, look, two from, I mean, my Christmas tags. Two from, right? How cool. So just like, if you don't know what to do, just take your bunch of tags, your your wrapping paper. Ooh, this one is cool. Your wrapping paper from, you know, years back and then make your Christmas tags. Nothing wrong with that. All right, this, I mean, I figure, you know, I figure, should I make a video about putting Christmas paper on already made tags? And I thought like, really? Don't we have better things to do? Yes, we have those cool envelopes to do. Here, bam, ha, right? Edge and done. So, I'm gonna resume. We are, next thing we're doing, I'm gonna do a flip through of my TLN, right? And then I will go through whatever we need to do that, which is about like nothing. I mean, paper, of course. Then I gotta go, I'm gonna do one of those, but maybe in a different way. But anyway, I'm gonna have one of those, you know, big envelope thing with that closure. So maybe if you wanna just like, you know, kind of get some training on that. But this, this, I have, you know, the more I think about it, the more kind of cool idea I come up with. So it is gonna be cool. It shouldn't, I am sorry because it takes me forever sometimes to do things, but you know, the truth and the matter is I want to do it right. So it's going to take a, maybe a little bit, but that's the next thing we do. And then we go through what we need, blah, blah, blah. I mean, this is not going to be like a, you know, 10 video thing. It's going to be maybe one or two. That's it. I mean, we are just doing it, doing it. Okay. Does this look cool? Kind of. Yes. Yes. It's all edged. Okay. Bam, bam. All right, let me just, okay. This, right? Those things, those things. Put a clip and put it somewhere on your shelf where you're going to remember where it is because you're going to want to do this envelope and you're not going to know. All right, let me kind of clean up all the mess here. Ah, almost perfect, right? There we go. All right, so what do we, oh, look, this one still get the clip. Taking the clip off. Look at that cute little thing. Seriously, this is adorable. You can glue it in your journal, you can put it in a pocket, you can, I don't know, put some stuff in it and give it money. <laughs> 
actually, why don't you use Christmas paper and make little envelopes like that? And, you know, cool, right? Okay, so they get this. You get that, that big one. I kind of like that one, you know? Like if you put, you, you do that one on a kind of a craft type of paper, you can, you know, maybe put a stamp and pretend. I, this is what I'm saying. I didn't decorate because I don't know where I'm going to use them, right? So that, and you can put, you know, a nice letter in it or an old letter or whatever, right? Take it. This one, I'm going to make a little display here. This one, okay, hold on. You're going to need contrast, contrasting colors. I got this one with the tags in it. That's pretty cool. Okay, you got this one. You got this one. That's the one we did with paper. So you can, it can be done with paper. You're going to have to reinforce, that's all. But, you know, work just the same, right? Cool. And then you get the smaller one. Get that one. I like that one. I like the colors of that one. I got the card in it. I think it's pretty cool. And same thing, you know, you can decorate. You can put maybe some book pages, stamps. I mean, like post postal stamp. I don't know. Whatever, right? It's pretty cool. I got this little guy here. This one is cute. I mean, that's not really my, you know, cup of tea paper. But, you know, for a kid, whatever, right? Okay. I mean, whatever you want to do. I got this one here. I kind of like this one too. With my little moth flying out. Come on, stay in. This. And that's the last, that's the, the one we did first, right? And that's what I'm saying. You can make them any shape, any size, any, you know what? Rest my case. Life is great. Eat cereals, tick boxes, cut the top, do your things, be cool. Thank you again to all of you from the bottom of my heart because it was so nice to know that you all around were like asking me i mean that was so so nice okay so thank you welcome to all the new subscribers hope you're having fun you know following this channel thank you to all the existing subscribers like yes we are cool and um happy crafting happy making bye